Good evening. Our big story tonight, a 19 year veteran of the Phoenix Police Department is recovering in the hospital after she was shot multiple times in the line of duty. The shooting happened earlier today in Levine near 40th Avenue and Baseline, but the investigation spans across several blocks as detectives try to piece together what exactly happened. Team 12's Bianca Bono is following this story and joins us live from the scene. Bianca, what's the latest? Yeah, guys, well, as you could see, this scene here is still very active at this late hour, nearly 10 hours after that Phoenix police officer was shot in the line of duty. We're still working to get more information about the circumstances that led up to that shooting. But what we do know is that two people have been detained, and we also know that officials are calling this a surprise attack on police. Anger and frustration as officials are forced to stand outside a hospital yet again after another Phoenix police officer was shot in the line of duty. This officer who was shot today represents all that is good in law enforcement. The female officer, a 19-year veteran of the Phoenix Police Department, is in stable condition and expected to survive her injuries but was shot repeatedly. We believe that her ballistic vest most likely contributed to saving her life. Officials not releasing many details about what led up to the ambush in a neighborhood near 40th Avenue and Baseline. But neighbors tell 12 News they heard 10 to 15 gunshots and 12 News cameras capturing officials on a loudspeaker telling people to come out of a house. Police saying two people were detained. It remains to be seen the level of their involvement in this crime. Officials sharing disturbing data around violence targeting police, saying this officer has become the ninth Phoenix officer shot in the line of duty since December. This marks the sixth surprise attack on our officer in six months. Police also saying the city's homicide rate is up 24% compared to this time last year and homicides involving guns are up 45%. We respect the rights of those that own firearms legally, but we have to address this crime that is plaguing our officers and our city. As the longtime officer continues to recover in the hospital, now once again decorated with blue ribbons, police are demanding change. As a city, we need to do better. And guys, in the past two minutes, we have received significant information from Phoenix Police updating us about what led up to this shooting. I'll just give you a couple of bullet points here. They say that the detective was in this area in an unmarked vehicle when two men got out of a car with handguns drawn and pulled masks over their faces and then ambushed that detective through the rearview mirror and from the side of her vehicle as well. Uh, because she was so caught off guard by the attack, she was unable to return fire. They then took off in a vehicle. We're working to update our website right now with all of this new information. You could find it at 12news.com. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thank you.